Hey guys, I uh, for the last three years I've been running across these golf balls that I've been saving for some reason. So I decided to get them out of my drawers in there so I don't have to store them anymore. I decided to do a little crafting project with them. So I first thing we're going to do is take three of them and I gotta see where it bumps together here and I'm gonna hot glue it and let that dry, let it cool down just a little bit alright then this next one that we're gonna put on I'm gonna put it at just a little slight angle like that not in a straight row like we did the others sorry I got my glue gun over here where I don't string glue everywhere so I just take the project over there to do it and that way I don't get strings of glue all over the place alright we're gonna let those dry and cool down so they harden and we'll be right back all right so now that it's dried a little now I went and made some little dots on it and I've got my little uh, rotary tool and we're going to try to drill some holes where I have those little dots I've never drill, drilled in the golf ball, so... Hope it works. Ooh, I may have to speed my drill up. Alright, where's my button? I think I had a too far. Now we got that much done. Now give me just a few minutes, guys, to clean some of this up. All right. Now that I got the golf ball dust cleaned up, what I did was I took an old uh, wire hanger. Let me get everything untangled here. And I cut this bottom part, the bottom wire off, and that's what I'm using. So then I cut it down into smaller pieces. Hopefully you guys can see this now. What I did was I went ahead and I just, I bent the bottom part at the, the width. I bent the bottom part at the width of the wire cutters like that. See? Then I take and I measure the last one that I did. I take it and lay it on top of each other like that. And then that tells me where the next bend should be. And you just bend it in the opposite direction. Like that. Hopefully you guys can see this. And then just cut it off to the length that you need. Alright, so now we're going to take the balls and uh, we're going to take the longest part, the piece that you left the longest, and stick them in the holes. Yeah, they're going to move around, but this is just to test them here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a, you can't see it because I got the glue gun out of camera but anyway we're just going to put a daub of glue on the end and we're going to stick them in the holes okay 
So what I've done is I took hot glue, let me get it cleaned up a little here, and I dabbed it on each one of the wires, and I uh, glued them, I stuck them in the hose, glued them in the hose, and we got one leg left. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one now. So let me get some glue on it here. And what I do is set it up while I'm putting it in there to make sure it's gonna come out level. So now we got all that in there. Now we gotta let this dry real quick and then we'll come back and we'll do some more to it. So on this first ball that we read up a little, we want to drill a couple of little holes up here, but I have to do it the same size because I ran, I don't have any smaller drill bits. So I'm just going to have to take this by eye and hope it works. <laughs> I squished one of his legs for it. All right, so now we got those two little holes there. But guys, those are not eyes. What I've got is some uh, really fine wire. And as big as we made that, I'm gonna have to probably double it and twist it together to make it look bigger. But that's all right. See, I just folded it over and I'm just twisting it together to make the wire look a little bit bigger. I've got this pencil here, so what we're going to do is take this wire and we're going to wrap it around the pencil like this and just leave about an inch of the wire sticking out. Pull it off and what I do is just take that bottom wire and kind of push it under a little bit so it's not sharp or anything like that. All right, then we're going to squish that together. And we're going to make sure that it fits in that hole. And it does. So now we're going to glue it. Do a little glue on there. All right. And then we're going to do another one really quick here. Now, we're just going to let this set for a little bit and let it completely dry. Okay? And if you haven't realized by now, we're making a an ant, a garden ant, out of the golf balls. Anyway, that's what it should look like, and then you gotta let it dry really good. And I'll be back. We're gonna take I'm gonna take it outside and paint it real quick. Alright guys, I tried to find my black paint, but I couldn't find it. So I did him in kind of a grayish blue. What do you think? So now we're going to do the last touches on them. And uh, you can do this with any color you want. It's up to you what colors you want to use. Because they all look really cool. And uh, what I'll do with these, I'll make a whole bunch of them. And then I will... Uh, <laughs> Look at those eyes. <laughs> oh, goodness. See? Make you a whole little line of ants and put them out by your, your uh, deck on the railing or put them by your plants. Make all different kinds of colors. And it's a great way to use up your golf balls. And uh, I got another project coming with golf balls pretty soon, but this is my one of my favorites. And they're just so freaking cute. But I tried to do this in a hurry. He needs another 
coat of paint. But look at that face. You can draw a mouth on it if you want to. I choose not to. But there you go, guys. What do you think? The little ant that could. Isn't that cute? Alright, guys. Have a good night.